What does hypoglycemia even feel like? Because diabetes is so common, we tend to overfocus on only high blood sugar, but low blood sugar is just as important and can be even more dangerous. My name is Karen Kennedy, and I'm a functional nutritionist specializing in using continuous glucose monitors to help people optimize their blood sugar and their metabolic health. So experiencing frequent low blood sugar can be a sign that you're having trouble regulating your blood sugar and you can be on the path to type two diabetes. So let's talk about what some of these symptoms are, what they feel like. Um, first of all, there is a difference between more mild and severe hypoglycemia. Um, anytime your blood sugar dips below 70 milligrams per deciliter, you're experiencing hypoglycemia. But the symptoms may not present until it drops maybe closer to 60 milligrams per deciliter or even in the 50s. If it's severe and low enough, you can lose consciousness. But what I'm talking about today is a more mild version of glycemia, but still something that deserves your attention. The symptoms of hypoglycemia can include dizziness, sweating, feeling shaky, a rapid heartbeat, confusion, irritability, and hunger. And if you put those last two together, you're going to get hangry. Um, and hangry is a real thing. Hangry is a real thing when you feel both hungry and agitated. And, you know, the popular candy bar Snickers capitalized on this, um, this situation and created a whole marketing campaign around it. But it so it sort of normalized feeling hangry, but hangry isn't normal. <laughs> hangry isn't normal. It's a sign that you have dysregulated blood sugar and your blood sugar is dropping too low. And you might think, well, it's just because I haven't eaten in a while. But humans are capable of not eating for days and our bodies can regulate our blood sugar in a, in a healthy range. That's what we do it gets low. We experience like hypoglycemia when there's something wrong, usually because we've eaten in a way where it spiked our blood sugar too high, and then we've rebounded by going too low, or we've timed our exercise um, in a way that caused hypoglycemia. So I want to show you a little bit about what this looks like. When we have a healthy blood sugar curve, one where we can fast and not get low blood sugar, hypoglycemia, it looks something like this. This is continuous glucose monitor data. And when we monitor it continuously, we can see what it's doing throughout the day. And you can see that this blood sugar curve in the blue stays in range between 70 and 140 milligrams per deciliter. But when we eat, that blood sugar spike actually isn't a spike. It's just like a rolling hill that goes up a little and then comes back down gradually. It doesn't go outside of this Goldilocks zone. And this is what you want. This is what you want. And you can see how it's low and steady in between meals. And it would continue being that steady even if you waited another 24 hours to eat, right? But then let's look at a subclinical hypoglycemia or a hangry situation. And what you can see here is normal healthy blood sugar, just like kind of cruising along the bottom of this Goldilocks zone. And then when the person eats, it jumps up and goes way out of that Goldilocks zone. This is what we call a blood sugar spike or hyperglycemia. And then it comes down. And when it comes down, you see how it doesn't just come back down to that nice baseline. It drops too low in all these red signs. And this is what we call subclinical hypoglycemia. And when this happens, then we start, we might experience some of those low blood sugar symptoms, but some of us, we're not even mindful of it. We might just feel a little peckish, a little hungry. So in the next video that I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about how this subtle subclinical hypoglycemia can impact and cause excess snacking, weight gain, and, um, and even diabetes and what you can do about it. So if you want to learn more about hypoglycemia, I've shared a link to my full article in the description below. And if you like this video, please hit subscribe.